if you are planning to come to Korea, you are maybe wondering how should I exchange greetings in Korea? Hmm. You can say hello or hi, people would understand. But it would be very good idea if you could speak in Korean, right? To help you understand better, I prepared some examples. And there's a special guest. Later on, I'll tell you who it is. Here is what happens when I meet my friends. Oh, 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 when did you come? And this is how I say hello to the elders in Korean. Hello. And look what happens if you say hello to a stranger in Korea. Hello. Hello. And now, let's compare it with other countries. When I was in Canada and Australia, this is how I felt people generally exchange greetings. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? Oh, hello, Miss Ran. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? What's up? Did you notice a special guest in the video today? That was my brother! Um, some people say we look alike, but many people say we don't. So we were misunderstood as a couple. Ew! Okay, that's it for today's video. If you're studying Korean or if you want to learn more Korean, please watch Learn Korean with Erika. Okay, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Alright, bye! See you next time! Hello guys! Welcome to Learn Korean with Erika, lesson number one. So today we are going to learn how to exchange greetings in Korean. As you have noticed in the video today, there are two types of greetings in Korea. First, informal greeting. Second, Formal greeting. Informal greeting is usually between close friends. Informal greeting is usually with people you know that are about the same age. Okay, so informal greeting. Number one. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up means, oh, you're here. So we usually say this as soon as we arrive at the place and we see the friend. Did you notice that it sounds very similar with what's up? But it's not. <laughs> so it's what's up, what's up, not what's up. But it's very similar so it's easy to remember. Informal greeting number two. 언제 왔어? 언제 왔어? 언제 왔어? 언제 왔어 means when did you get here? Next, formal greeting. 안녕? 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 It's simply saying, hi. Now, greeting for the elders. Because we use respect form when you talk to the elders, it's slightly different from what we just learned. 안녕 하세요. 안녕 하 세요. 안녕 하세요. 안녕하세요. So you already know 안녕 is for the ones that we know that are about the same age. And 안녕 하세요 is for the elders. So 하세요 is the respect form. And 안녕 하 Yo. 안녕하세요 is not only for the elders but also for the strangers. If you say hello or hi to a stranger on the street in Korea, their reaction is not as kind as you think. Don't take it personally. It's just they're not used to saying hello or hi to a stranger on the street. Their reaction is just showing that they're surprised or shy or awkward. 
Now let's learn how to write in Korean. So the first one is 안녕, the formal greeting with friends or with someone you know that are about the same age. This looks like O, oh, right? 아, 안, and it sounds like this. 안 냐 and it sounds like this sorry <laughs> 안녕 now let's learn how to write 하세요. 안녕하세요. Which was for the elders or strangers. Because we just wrote 안녕, we're just going to write 하세요. Okay? 하. And it sounds like this. Second letter is Se, which sounds like this. Se. What's with the small letter and big letter? Don't worry about it. The last letter is Yo, which sounds like this. 안녕하세요. Ha. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Good job, guys! Thank you for watching my video, and if you have any questions or opinions about my video, please write the comments. And really goodbye!